Hi there, I am John Benedict Estrada. I am Pauline Victoria Estrada and we are from Fresno, California, USA, the agricultural capital of the world. Our project is about conservation of irrigation water through a novel artificial intelligence drought assessment or ADA model in field-grown tomato using a custom-built spectra rover equipped with a visible light spectrum and infrared camera system. Drought is the greatest threat to global food production and sufficiency by negatively impacting crop yield. Water for irrigation is becoming scarcer and California is in an almost permanent state of drought induced by climate change. According to the U.S. Congressional Research Service, as much as 80% of the total water supplies in California are used to irrigate agricultural crops. Development of an early detection tool to assess drought stress in plants is crucial in reducing irrigation water use to grow agricultural crops. Advances in artificial intelligence inspired us to create the novel AI Drought Assessment, or ADA model, which uses variables that are all physiologic and direct indicators of drought stress. It was trained using data from field-grown tomato plants to detect early drought stress quickly and more accurately. The variables used to develop the ADA model were infrared radiometric canopy temperatures, red, green, blue, or RGB light reflectance values, and soil moisture readings. We included RGB light reflectance values since they are intimately involved in photosynthesis and stimulation of stomatal opening. IR leaf canopy temperature, on the other hand, correlates with a plant's transpiration rate and soil moisture tells the amount of water available to the plant. A spectra rover equipped with a custom-built visible light spectrum and infrared camera system was constructed and used to capture and transmit radiometric IR and RGB plant canopy images in real time. This remotely operated vehicle setup captures RGB and thermal images in close proximity, thus improving the accuracy of the canopy temperature determination in tomato plants and increasing the robustness of the trained ADA model. The newly trained and validated ADA model, using actual field data, proved to be a quick, reliable, and robust way of determining drought stress in tomato plants. The newly coded prediction output program, or POP, outputs a highly accurate ADA score which can replace CWSI. This ADA score can now be used by farmers to determine whether their plants are experiencing early signs of drought stress and help them decide if they need to irrigate or not. Approximately 26 billion gallons of irrigation water will be saved every year if all tomato farms in California use the ADA model. This novel technique of determining drought stress in tomato plants can help farmers conserve water without sacrificing their yield. It is our hope that ADA will usher in the era of artificial intelligence in agriculture bringing it at par with other advances that AI has brought to other fields in the 21st century and serve as an important tool necessary to conserve precious water as we build a resilient future in food production.